Hi everyone. Um, I guess if you're like me in a lot of households, um, you know, we've all got our, our freezer in the kitchen. Um, here's mine down here. Yeah, now we've got the job in and, and I don't know if you're like me, but you know, they're never big enough, are they? We, we, we always fill them up and find we, we it's not just can't do the job and we, we need another one. Um, now, if you're like me, uh, we had another freezer. We bought another one, a top-up freezer. And if you're a big family as well, you find you will need two freezers. I mean, you just can't hold enough in there. Um, you need a, a second. So, like many people, I had my freezer down in the garage, you know, or out in the garage. Or it's usually most people, it's down in the garage, isn't it? That second freezer, and you go down there to pick up the reserve food and bring it up to the one in the kitchen um, to try and sort of make sure you've got plenty in stock food I'm talking about <laughs> um, so I was thinking about this the other day and I thought you know it's a right waste of heat because um, the freezer gives a lot of heat off and it come to me that that freezer down in the garage is um, is heating up probably a couple of old rusty bikes uh, and some old gardening tools uh, which it was in mine because the old freezer gives off quite a bit of heat which is you know it's just the way they work they do um, and that brought to mind that I did have a cupboard um, at the top of my stairs here and it made me realize that if I cleared this cupboard out this one here um, that maybe it would be better for me to put the freezer in there not only is it close to the kitchen but also I could utilize the heat that was coming off. Now I've stuck my freezer from the garage in there. Now as you can see it's there. Um, so what I've done is I've utilized an old era and apart from our wet coats coming in, if they come in they'll dry because of the heat in here. Um, and also, I mean, I've got a lot of tosh up here and I'm going to clear this lot off and get rid of this shelf and also put rails across there to hang more washing and stuff because the heat that this freezer generates gives a lovely warmth in this cupboard and dries everything um, so it really is handy and I've just used an old era, I mean I've got another old era down there uh, and I've just used this era um, to to stick the clothes on. The only thing you've got to watch is not to let any clothes obviously drop down the back onto the elements at the back of the freezer. Um, you don't want a fire or anything like that. But so you've got to be a bit careful not to, you know, not to stick anything down there. Uh, and if you want a bit more air into the cupboard, um, we always leave ours slightly open, our door. But I mean, you can always put an air vent in the door, you know, stick an air vent up there if you want not to get too warm in there. Um, but generally it works lovely so it's sort of kind of using the heat um, from the freezer uh, to, to give you an airing cupboard basically and in the winter time when you can't hang washing out I mean it's fantastic I mean I've still got my existing airing cupboard because I haven't got a combi I've got a normal system with a hot water tank in there uh, and I've utilized uh, again an old airing rails um, to to air the, the washing and, and it really works well my wife really loves it and um, it does the job again it's even warmer in here of course because I've got the hot water tank there and I've used these old areas in frames like so um, to get the washing aired out and obviously don't put ringing wet washing in there dry it on the line and just air it in these places don't put um, ringing wet washing especially not ringing, wa <laughs> ringing wet washing uh, above the the freezer because we don't want any water dropping down there so please do bear in mind it's just for airing but this does work as well as the airing cupboard it just takes a little bit longer because there's not quite the heat uh, that there is obviously off the airing tank so there you are it's sort of a it's a kind of a a weird money saving tip if you like but again uh, if you can locate a cupboard in your house or even make one um, you know have a bedroom if you've got a bit of space you know and just make yourself especially if you've got a combi boiler because um, you know most of these new houses you now don't have um, an airing cupboard anyway they use a combi boiler and uh, there's no space for such a thing and it might be well worth knocking a cupboard up and sticking your freezer in there and using that as the heat or indeed a fridge um, does the same thing same thing you'll get heat off of a fridge as well um, so it's just an idea um, and it, it makes use of instead of sticking that other freezer down in the garage where it's just wasted and you've got to go miles to get the food anyway um, it's an idea to, to replace it and bring it indoors and make use of it um, to do a job as well as give you the food that you want extra okay it's just another little money saving tip thanks very much for watching all my videos Derek and 33 thank you and
Bye-bye.